few days ago in Sana'a, Yemen, there were giant protests against the Saudi bombing campaign and blockade of the country. So look at this crowd. This is unbelievable. That is positively stunning. There were hundreds of thousands of people out there. And uh, you guys are not going to be shocked to learn. Barely made news. Barely made news. You want to know why? Because we're uh, allies with the people who are doing the bombing campaign that has sparked this backlash. So Saudi Arabia has been bombing the pants off of Yemen. Um, and as a result of that, 10,000 people are dead in the bombing campaign. By some counts, it's 50% of the 10,000 that are civilians. They've bombed markets, mosques, hospitals, schools, and schools for the blind. Stay classy. Uh, and they're also using cluster bombs, which are illegal under international law, and those cluster bombs are provided by the United States of America. Uh, Obama kept arming them. Uh, and aiding them in the bomb campaign, even though we knew that they were hitting civilian targets and uh, we provided them with the illegal munitions. But we helped them out the entire time. And now Trump has even increased uh, weapon sales to Saudi Arabia. Mr. I'm going to be tough on radical Islam, arming the, the beacon of radical Islam. I could say the Mecca of radical Islam, quite literally. Um, so this is ISIS that made it. They have the same ideology. Cover women up from head to toe, behead people for sorcery and witchcraft, uh, say all atheists are terrorists. He's like, yeah, let's arm them. Let's arm them more. So on top of that, the blockade of the country perhaps is even a bigger disaster because 17 million people are now facing severe food insecurity. 6.8 million people are deemed to be in a state of emergency, which is literally one step from famine. We've seen the pictures coming out of there, these... Basically, kids that are just a bag of bones because they don't have nutrition, they don't have food, and this is all because Saudi Arabia is blocking international aid from getting in there. So, this is the result of that. You have people saying, what the, what are you doing? Hundreds of thousands flood the streets, say stop the siege, and it's portrayed as a war if it's ever mentioned in Western media. It's just a slaughter fest. You have Saudi Arabia with U.S. weapons and fighter jets versus Houthi rebels who don't have fighter jets. It's a slaughter. It is a slaughter. And Saudi Arabia does not care about the civilian casualties by any stretch of the imagination. And they're blockading and starving the fucking country. And they're all doing it with our support. So, you know, you hear about Syria all the time in uh, Western media. And you also get often get a biased picture of Syria as well. But Yemen, don't even mention it. Why? Because we're the ones who are providing the weapons to the bad guys. We're the ones who are allowing the blockade to continue. Uh, by the way, at the same time, Saudi Arabia is on the UN Human Rights Panel. So when our guys and and when we violate international law, don't mention it. Doesn't count. Doesn't count because we mean well or something. Freedom and democracy. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. End the siege of Yemen. End it right now.